What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 96. 96, man. And 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 this is a what 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 are we in? Like three weeks or one week past the uh past Madden has been out for one week. And I feel like I'm starting to like I can make a decent opinion on Madden now, boys. I feel like I can I feel like I'm there. Right? I feel like we're I feel like I feel like this is an adequate we're at an adequate spot right now. We're at an adequate spot where we can make an opinion. This is episode 96, man. Uh, 96, episode 100, we're working on something special. I promise you guys that. Um, I feel like we could make an assessment, right? I feel like we, we've been playing enough. I mean, we probably got 100 games, everybody, right? Um, and I don't, you know what? I like... I hate to be the guy to be the first one to judge the game, man. But, man. I'm kind of digging Madden 21. I'm kind of super positive. My man AJ with the 10 months. No, I'm kind of super positive. I I honestly want... You know, and if you guys have anything negative to say, as we get into Madden 21, man, but... Uh, if you guys have anything negative to say, please let me know. This is the Needed Podcast brought to you by my boys at Players Lounge, man. Uh, hey... I'm going to hit a little Gamer Subs as well. Gamer Subs, man, you guys can get this, man. All my links are below. You get 10% off if you type need it at code checkout. This is 30 servings. No, it's 100 servings for $30. I always get that wrong somehow. 100 servings. 100 energy drinks for 30 bucks. You can't you can't really beat that. That's $3 per energy drink. Can't beat it. So that's what I use. That's kept me up all these hours putting out these videos, putting out these streams, trying to get better at Madden for the last week, really. I was at a volleyball game. Uh, my girl's a big volleyball person. Um, she coaches here in the Columbus area, a bunch of different like AAU volleyball and high school, so she knows a lot of people. And two of the girls she coaches were playing against each other. She said, we're going up there, blah, blah, blah. So I said, I'll go. I'm supposed to be home at like 9, but, you know. Mind you, the, the volleyball game is an hour away up in the... the country and uh so i was there so we are here so like i said you get a hundred of these drinks not too sweet not too powdery not chalky at all just nice energy this was what time do my streams end 7 a.m 6 a.m every night so for me definitely has got me if you guys want a game you guys want to have that energy in those neurotropics that's what they call it the neurotropics that's what has the stick work and the mind working the right way neurotropics gamer subs make sure you guys hit that link Check it out. You can get free samples too. Free. 99. Just check out all my all my panels below the stream, all that good stuff, man. Um, so for me, yeah, you got to sometimes, Tim. She loves volleyball. It's my bad, my bad. But we're here. And we're here. We're gonna talk about Man 21, man. Uh we're gonna talk about Man 21. We're going to keep I mean, who is this guy? Oh man, dude. Look at this guy. Kick rocks. Anyway. So I did go to a I did go to Ohio State volleyball game last year. I did go to Ohio State volleyball game last year. I did. Um yes, that that's my that's the end of the uh that's the end of the plebes talking in the podcast. That's the end. See I try. I try to bring the plebes to life. My man June fifth. My guy with the tier one. There it is. Bye, please. Kick rocks, bro. Anyway, I did go to Ohio State volleyball game. It's, it kind of be popping. I'm going to be honest. Volleyball. Be kind, I, mean, I don't be wanting to admit to her that it's kind of popping, but I, I be kind of locked in to the volleyball. But uh, so she, that's where I was. But anyway, man, it's, like I said, I hate I hate the guys that say, oh, this is the best man ever. It's a week into the game. Nobody knows how to play it. Nobody knows what the hell they're doing. Of course, you're going to feel tough on offense and defense because nobody is good on anything. Everybody's just out here playing. So um, for me, um, the biggest thing is I don't like to be the first person to make a statement on the game. Like as far as if I like it, if I don't like it, you know, is it the greatest? Is it the worst? Uh, something like that, you know. So for me, I like to be calm, right? So for me, um, but I'm starting to feel like, you know, 10 days in the Madden, feeling like it's pretty strong. You know, I'm feeling like. I'm, Clef, do you have a head? What is this? Is this a Clef? 
Clef got a locked in head too. Oh damn, Clef. See, we here, bro. See, we here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How you get a lock? Oh man. Oh man. But anyway. No, I honestly, if y'all have anything bad, no, nah, I just want to talk about gameplay, bro. If y'all bring it up, listen, we're going to talk a lot about this NFL drop EA. If y'all going to bring a lot of that, if y'all going to bring a lot of that, uh, that, you know, I want more features in the game stuff, I don't want to talk about that, you know, because at the end of the day, we all want more features. Like, um, there, there's really never ending with features. No, seriously, uh, if you guys have anything bad to say about the game because for me personally i'm finding it my list of bad things about the game is kind of slim so far now the kick meter is laggy as hell i think that's one million percent like a server thing and the menus i heard the patch is going to be the patch the patch is coming in a week this is the this is probably the earliest we've had a patch in madden normally there's a 30 day patch you know when the game comes out 30 days from here we are getting one september 10th which is a little more than a week away from now. So uh, one this early is rare, and uh, apparently it has some good fixes to it. And we'll talk about that because, you know, we didn't really talk about that last week because we didn't know about it. But I, but when I looked at the patch notes, and I'm assuming you guys looked at the patch notes too, I did like everything that I saw in the patch notes. I thought it was all Ws. I thought it was good things that they needed to patch. You know, so for me... Uh, I thought the patch was good. And one of the things they talked about was the server. Now, the biggest issue that I don't like is I saw nothing about the chew clock thing. That is pretty much the, uh, I mean, probably the worst thing about the game. Um, title update. Here we go. Now, honestly, I'm not a read the, uh, this should work if I hit this little button right here. Yes, there we go. Nah, maybe I gotta like. No, I don't want to move the chat, W. Lock the chat. Now, loading menus are bad. Loading menus are bad. Let's talk about the gameplay. I just that's what I want to talk about. Let's talk about the gameplay because obviously two clock sucks, and it's something that they should fix. It should be easy to fix, right? Contains are always broken. I said to myself, I'd be cool if we never had contains again in a game of Madden. I would be perfectly fine with that. Cover, bro, what are we doing here? Yeah, cover me up. There we go. All right, cool. Zones, I see, I do feel like zones flipping around and everything like that are is kind of nutty. I think every, every defense is different, and that's something I always talk about, learning how to play defense, ready to play defense, something like that while I play the game. You know, zones flipping around is, is I think, it's formation dependent, defense dependent, and adjustment dependent. If you're in man aligned, if you're in base aligned, if you're in run, with, I see people say, put your receivers or your corners on speed, and I've never been the person to do that. Hey, Madden fans. But honestly, let's really talk about gameplay. The dive give your up self up. Uh, I wish I could hack. Honestly, for me, I think that's something you're going to get used to. I think the pass rush is really solid right now. What do we think? I do think blitzing is bad. I feel like you have to full send the blitzes. Now, I think that might change when we start getting 94, 95 speed DBs. But I do feel like blitzing is a little bit slow. Or the quarterback's almost a little bit fat. I, I I couldn't really tell you, honestly. But audibles and false start, I feel like that's a good thing. Um, it's one of the things we talked about. I, honestly, seriously, the auto, the false start audibles, oh, does anybody really have a problem with that? Do you really want to go back to flipping bunch four times? You know? Yeah, I don't think a four-man rush is better than a B. Yeah, I, I agree. I think a four-man rush should be way different than a three-man rush. You know? Yeah, one the way the, the way the game's set up, not only with the two clock and six seconds for people to snap, this is a quick snap game, one million percent. You know? No, but seriously, like, the two clock... Look, listen... Does that, like, and let's go through here. Face of the franchise, really don't give a shit about that, man. All to fix the issue where users experience long load times when entering and leaving sub menus. Good. Hopefully that works. Superstar knockout and content updates. 
pass rush. All right, defenders in contain from staying in contain when being blocked by a running back. This is interesting because I don't think this was like what we're complaining about. The rusher will keep the contained behavior. So there goes your cut block rollout. That's what I'm reading from this. A contain will dead all rolling out of the pocket. Because what stop contains were kind were really good, except that they got blocked by the running back. Now, if they're gonna make it so boom, you get blocked by the running back, you're still in a contain, that's gonna pretty much dead rolling out. You know, the one thing I hated about contains being so good against rolling out, I feel like they should never really rush the passer. The one thing that makes contain so tough is that they're so sensitive to when they disengage. Like they'll be containing the whole time, but if you move in the pocket the wrong way. They will disengage and they will go get you. So for me, that's like, I I feel like at this point, if this is it, you're just going to get people containing every single play. And uh, you're going to have to have really immaculate pocket presence to be able to pass on people like that. Uh, And I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. We'll see how it works. But one of my my biggest uh, complaints defensively, man, if my goal, listen, if my goal is to keep the quarterback in the pocket, it shouldn't be that tough to do that. So I'm kind of happy that it seems like contains or contains are working. I should be able to keep somebody in the pocket if that's what I want to do. Fix an issue causing the initial pass rush move of contain players to take them to the inside. This is what is glitching everybody right now. If you guys are playing against it, um, if you guys are playing against this right now, fix an issue caught. This is what everybody's doing: pinching and containing and then like getting their contains to go inside and disengage really stupidly. So uh, that's going to be patched. So all you guys depending on that contained stuff to really glitch and pinch and go through the offensive line, that's going to be patched in a little more than a week. So start thinking about different defensive schemes and start uh, uh, expanding your defensive play calling. Addition of logic to support quarterback contains versus play action passing plays. Okay. Uh, On-field trend. All right. All right, only defenders with the strip specialist ability. So your quarterback won't fumble unless somebody has strip specialist. That's what is that's what I'm getting from this. How much does anybody know how much AP strip specialist is cuz that could be tough. You know, we'll see how that works. Defensive coverage, fiction issue, I twins down dot defenses. Okay. Okay, Juke and Jurtle, fix and tackle. I, I did notice the Jurtle sometimes like disintegrates a player, like they can't touch you, like you're invincible. So that could help. Fix an issue causing a receiver to warp off of up off the ground into a tackle during a possession catch. Okay. Fix an issue causing the quarterback to not react after throwing an interception while being hit by a defender. Okay. Fix an issue allowing ball carriers to fake out defenders behind them while using a spin move. That's pretty good. Throw out a sack. This is, this is, throw out a sack, honestly. Why are we pressing ones? My bad. Oh, one AP? Yeah. All right, well, strip specialists, if you put that on all four of your D linemen and they start getting the ball, that might be kind of tough. Now, listen. Hear me on this, boys. Throw out a sack. Does anybody have a problem with the throw out a sack? Is that anything that has ever, like, have you guys ever been upset about that? Um, I personally do like that in the game. I think it's like, we, we talk about football, I feel like it's... I don't want to be like, the, oh, it's super sim or anything like that. Um, but it is kind of cool for football. You know, I just... I, I don't see where the super downside of that is. And I think... Hear me on this. I do think it's very... Uh, I think the timing of it is good. If you throw before you get hit and just get hit a little bit, your pass will be a little more accurate and vice versa. If you're halfway through a sack that's going to be a tough pass to complete and it's going to go pretty much you have no idea now and i, I that's a good point Rob rescue passing is passing is a little bit easier you got your quarterback has a way quicker animation so honestly with the way the quarterback gets a quick animation all these easy things that are to be able to you know pass the ball you should be good enough to not risk throwing a pass while somebody's grabbing you you know you should be able to have that awareness to not force a pass and if you do force a pass you get hit and then throw a pick because the ball goes anywhere which is super duper realistic in football 
Like, let's be honest, guys. A lot. This happens a lot. You know, whether it be hitting somebody's arm, just just think about just sometimes they just run through and smack the, their forearm while they're throwing or anything like that. I just feel like this is not this is a good addition to the game. I really do. I I, I don't see any downside. I don't see any downside of this addition to the game. Throw out a sack. You know, I, I honestly don't. You know, and I feel like even when somebody completes a pass on me where they're getting hit, I'm like, all right, if, they, if they're relying on this, eventually it's going to come back around and I'm going to get that turnover, you know? I, 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 never, I never wanted to be either perfect pass or sack. I feel like, you know, that's how it works, how I feel. You know? But addition of new logic, when a defender is hitting the quarterback on his throwing arm, the quarterback will no longer be able to throw the ball. The quarterback will be forced to tuck the ball or the ball will be fumbled. So if you're coming from the right side. So that's a good point, man. Maybe you want to blitz. Now, this is always something I wanted to do in previous Maddens, but it was a little bit too realistic. My man, ha- my man Hassan right there with a 19 months, my guy. Hi, Boogie in the chat. Thank you, buddy. I always wanted to like blitz off the strong side so they couldn't roll out to the throwing hands. Uh, so that might be cool if you if you touch them on the, on the right hand they won't be able to throw it and at the same time maybe you do want to touch them on that left shoulder so they throw it and hopefully get a pick uh, increase to the fumble chance of quarterbacks throwing out of a sack that are hit significantly before they have started their arm movement good the greater the defender's tackle versus quarterback strength rating this discrepancy is in favor of the defender the higher the fumble chance all I feel like this is this is tough. This is tough. Uh, fix a throw out of sack animation where the ball was, was not getting released by the quarterback. Our goal with throw out of sack improvements was to provide more balance to the new feature that has significant impact on gameplay. There is more risk in trying to throw the ball every time a defender is close to the passer. Now it's upon the user to make sure they have started to pass in time or else the defender will be able to force a fumble when they are hit before the arm has started going forward. We have also ensured that doing it when you do blah, blah 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 that when you do start past the pass in time you get the ball off appropriately with the correct distance and accuracy i think this is all a good thing i don't i don't really have any argument i i have i i cannot understand a single argument by any person why this is a bad thing really you know that's just how i feel i'm um, blocking Fix an issue to prevent the preventing the left tackle from all right, blah, 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 blah. Fix an issue to graphical distortion. I don't know what that means. General fixes. Tuning to give user control a little sooner after an interception. Uh, this this is a this is a uh, I don't want to say it's a gray area, but I feel like all right. Hear me on this. User control after listen. User after control, user um, user control after interception. I feel like it was really good this year. Now they had that one where you can't control him at all. He just full sends straight. That's the one they need to fix. But I feel like as far as catching a pick and not going the wrong way, I feel like they kind of fixed that wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I I feel like they just yeah I feel like they just got to get rid of that one where they just full send straight. Yeah, fix an issue causing quarterbacks to use drastic turns on subtle movements. Okay, fix the run speed for ball carry. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't know. Improvements to the speed of the menus in Man Ultimate Team. That one million percent need that. Improvements interact with players items upgrades. So honestly, I feel like everything. Look, look, look! Franchise updates. The next franchise update blog will be released around the start of the NFL season and will outline current plans and targeting timing for the first of three planned franchise mode updates. Get to to the bots, to the bots, boys, to the bots. Man, Mert, we had to, bro. My man, my my AI, AI, I, AI, 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 my guy. Two months. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But all right, so all in all, like I said, what are the negatives, man? The negatives, I, I, the only thing I don't see in there is the chew clock. That's probably n- number one negative in the world, and it's not on there. So 
I almost want to say that they'll be able to fix two clock without a huge patch. I hope. But outside of that, play a friend in the yard. Listen, I asked a million times during the offseason, can EA smoke this whole yard thing? It's, it, it sounds like it's going to be perfect. Could they make it corny and ruin it by not having play a friend? It's a huge L, honestly. Huge L. You know, that's just how I feel. The chew clock is intentional. Patriots fan. Is the is the chew clock intentional? Do you think it's not a glitch? Do you think they really want chew clock on? If chew clock is on, why is that a positive for men? One, maybe people won't get blown out as bad. Right? Think about it. They'll keep playing. They'll only lose 14 to 3 instead of 28 to 3. I don't know. Make them flip. Make them quick snap. It does happen every play, Jack. I swear to God, it happens every play. For me, it happens every play. If I throw a completed pass inbounds, my, my clock is chewing. My man Lake with the prime, man. Thank you, buddy. Mine happens every play. Jesse, no. Yes, I, I feel like it happens every time. Yeah. Yeah, two clock not being fixed. Let's really think about the conspiracy. Because what makes somebody quit Madden? They get blown out. That What makes somebody start typing tweets? Oh, EA or Mad NFL drop EA. They get blown out. How can they not get blown out? Two clock make people get up out of there fast, bro. The games are going to be three possessions. It That's it. Buzzard, that's funny you say no huddle, but no huddle still has a chew clock. What I'm sure think about it, bro. Listen. Video games are about keeping people playing. The longer you keep people playing, the more successful your video game will be. And uh and it's also about gaining new people. You no, know, there's Rex always said this. The one word is player retention. Player retention is keeping everybody that always plays man, keeping them on board. Right? And then go gain new people. If you're if you're Johnny Raincoat down the street, this is your first year playing Madden. You play Dub Dot Dubby, right? Pretty good player, right? The clock's chewing. He can't score 35 points because he's only getting two possessions. You know? You're gonna keep you playing. You're not really you're losing, but you're not really getting blown out, right? So you feel like you got this. I'm close enough to keep playing. I'm not ass. I only lost 14 to 0 couple new plays I could have I could have won I don't know could be possible seriously think could, could be possible news you bees no I don't think it should be player lock I think I think being able to switch players makes it kind of sweaty really I don't know Just is just kind kind of kind of something to think about, bro. I'm just I'm just we're just we're spitballing ideas. That's what we do here. We spitball ideas, really. There should be no two clock. I have first of all, let me be honest with you guys, bro. I'd be cool if they took that whole feature out of the game. I grew up with no two clock. It's always something fucking wrong with it, or I forget to turn it off when I turn it on, and now I'm in a two minute drive, and my dumb ass is chewing clock. Cause I wanted a two clock at the end of the at the end of the third quarter or something, you know. I'm from the era before two clock. All right, turn that shit off. Let me manually chew. Pause. All right. Let's be honest. Two clock. But I'm just I'm just saying. I mean I I'm now you're thinking about solos. Yeah, you need two clock for solos, bro. I'll be honest. Yeah, the boss needs two clock for his solos. I don't know. But all in all, I feel like I feel like we are talking about I don't want to say insignificant things, but not major things. Now the two clock thing, yes, I, I, that shit sucks. Yes, that but I feel like one, it's either intentional or it's completely fixable. Like 
it can't be this big of a bug, right? Could it be? No way. Impossible. So it's either intentional or they're going to fix it pretty quickly. Seriously. But ultimately, like I said, I don't think we're talking about anything super negative. I, I think we all, those of us that actually really play the game, I think we're all, are we all in agreement, man? We're pretty positive with, with everything. I mean, I feel my vibes are super positive with this game. Super positive. I don't know what the hell the pause glitch is. I don't know what the... I, I, pause glitch. Like, let me tell you something. Bro, if you're worried about getting pause glitched by 13-year-old Samuel, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Just quit the game and get into the next one. Like, seriously, I've never understood. Can we ban this guy? He's freeze glitching me. Bro, is your life that insignificant that you're worried about one fucking game on the leaderboards that don't mean shit? Quit the game, get into another one. Seriously. And if that one game, if that one Samuel is going to keep you out of qualifying for the tournament, guess what? You probably aren't that good. Just saying. So I hate, I really hate the damn, I see this shit all the time. Can we get this guy banned? I'm freeze glitching. One, he probably had no idea how to do this shit. We all know we all get disconnected all the time. Y'all think all these dudes are freaking Neo from the Matrix and can hack your shit off at any time they want. That's simply not the case. Sometimes the server just sucks. And the first thing they say is, oh, get this guy banned. Who gives a shit? Seriously. I you know, I really hate pause, glitch, freeze, glitch. That shit doesn't matter, man. It really doesn't matter. I just, I, I, I hate that. I, I, I hate getting tagged in them shits. I just, everybody thinks they're Neo. Yeah, like, people sweat. <sighs> Y'all gotta understand. Then it'd be dudes with no, that on. Now, no important leaderboard, no nothing. Just like, who, getting po who gives a shit, man? Get into another game. But, you know what's crazy about the world, man? About the Madden world? Yo, I have fun playing the game. We're surrounded by content, rewards, extra this, extra that, extra that. We're here because we love literally playing the game. In my life of 33 years old, I have played thousands, thousands of absolutely meaningless games of Madden against my friends. Meaningless. Because it's fun. Look, just the game. I don't need any of these extra shit. I don't need sparklers and, and jimmies flying every time something happens. I don't need somebody to tickle my nuts and say, good job, you moved up the leaderboard. Like, I legit like playing the game. That's why I'm here. So I feel like we have lost that so much from everybody that complains does not have that. Seriously. I'm just like, just how I feel. I just, I, like I said, I'm, I've been, I'm, I'm here because I just literally like playing the game. You know? Damn, they run the same play, then I'm ready to stop it, then they pause glitch you. Yeah. Because they're busting your ass with the same play all game, and you're finally ready to stop it, and they, they're kind of hip, but they know you're ready to finally stop it after you've been getting stroked up and down the field all day. But now, you're ready to stop it, so let's pause. Let's hit pause 16 times. Let's, do a, let's pause the game, do a Mortal Kombat combo move on my controller, unplug the Ethernet cord, put it back, and boot this guy offline. Because that's what Samuel down the street is trying to do to you. No, you're just fucking bad, dude. And the server dropped the game. Who gives a shit? Search again. God damn, man. What is that, bro? People, man. Maybe Mutt, maybe Mutt did lose that feeling. My man, hey, Darnold. Maybe Mutt made it more about the cards than the game. But for me, no matter how good the cards are, right? I still love the game. That's what I'm saying. I still like playing the game. And maybe that's me. Maybe Samuel is disconnected from that. Maybe he cares more about his rewards and his cards. And where the hell's journey at? Bro, they tweeted today. Oh my God, man. Like, I don't know why Madden has social media, dude. I really, I feel like they should just delete that shit. 
Does anything positive come out of Madden having social media? They should delete the shit, stay in Orlando, and not talk to any of you cocksuckers. That's how I feel. Because I look, I, I'm like, it is terrible. And we're going we're gonna to go into that when we get more into our drop EA. We're going to drop EA segment. That's that's the vibes right now. Everybody drop EA. Gamer subs, go ahead. Link in below, man. This is an energy for 30 cents. 30 cents. This whole bottle right here, 30 cents. Not bad. And we're going to be up. Stream going to go off at 10 a.m. See, I would stream all night. But once we start hitting the morning hours, like 6, 7, Right? Then that's when the real weirdos come in the chat, guys. And it's like, it kind of de demoralizes me a little bit. And it, like, I'd be like, it hurts my heart. I might have to go, once 5 a.m. hits, we might have to go sub only. i am be honest. Pickle take my guy with the, with the bits. Thank you, man. For real, bro. And you know what I realized last night? As I was playing No Money Spent, right? Remember everybody that... I, I feel like everybody I was playing came into the chat, right? And you know, I realized that my gamer tag is TTV Dub Dot on the No Money Spent account. They're all in here. All the randoms get in here when they're playing me now. Like, oh my God. Like, I never really realized that's why they were all in here every single time, bro. It's rough, man. But anyway, so ultimately, give me your first week, chat. Give me this. And comments, uh... Yo, because yes, it caused people to really join the chat. And I've noticed that from MLB. And I've noticed it just from playing one night on TTV Dub Dot. That people really be joining your chat. And it works. So, uh, I'm definitely gonna keep rocking that name a lot with the no money spent. I'm just ready for Weekend League. I need Weekend League so bad to make that team good. Um... But seriously, um, give me the first week of man has passed. The first week of man has passed, right? Give me a 1 to 10 of how you feel about the game right now. You know, of just the gameplay, if you're enjoying it, if you like it, if you think I have promise. Give me a 1 to 10 in the chat, in the comments below. Give me a 1 to 10, seriously. Like, because I can't lie, I'm kind of sitting pretty high. I'm kind of sitting in that 8-9 area right now. Really, seriously. Jack, I agree. The heat is weak. But give me your give me your numbers, man. Because I'm I'm sitting kind of high right now. I'm enjoying playing the game. Maybe that's just a new Madden. Maybe it's just that new Madden trying to explore that new Madden uh, and just everybody getting used to it. And maybe it's gonna it's gonna get shitty quick. And hopefully not quickly, but it will eventually. Think about it, man. Yeah, nine without you. The two clock is hurting, man. It's just it's frustrating. The content is dry. What does that mean? Cause I see that word thrown around a bunch, right? Can somebody explain to me what that? Cause I'll be honest, I don't. The way I'm playing the game right now, I don't need them to come out with another card for two weeks, right? Cause for me, people want content. For me. I don't want... Listen, so Julio Jones is the, the limited card that people are rumoring coming out. I don't know if it's true or not. I might be wrong. I don't want Julio Jones to come out because that's going to be another $100 I got to spend on my team. How, ma how many cards do you guys want in the first seven days of the game? I feel like the, we've got a shit ton of cards for seven days. Am I wrong? No, seriously, like, my man show with the gift of my guy. Thank you. No, like, I, I, I honestly, like, I feel like there's so many cards, man. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, seriously. People want promos because no money spent. People find a way to glitch way to make money during the sets. You know how I make money? I load into a game and I play. You know what's funny about Madden? When you load into a game, they give you coins even if you get blurred. I don't know, man. I, I it's the, Yeah, the first seven days, we have... Well, we got eight legends, 
team builders, team diamonds, core leap cards. What like seriously? How could we want more cards right now, dude? Yeah, I feel like content like Mutt Master, Level Master, Team Captains. I feel like, bro, I feel like, the, I feel like we're OD right now on cards. Are we not OD? I feel like we're OD. But I like your numbers. Like I said, I'm probably sitting around eight or nine. I'm not the quick to judge player right away, judge games right away. I'm not really quick to do that, you know. Game will be over by November. Well, I, here's a news flash. Madden 20 was fucking awful, and that game never died. There's the news flash of the day, right? Madden 20, because Madden 20 was awful, and that game never died. Never died. Literally, 12 months out of the year. I was streaming, 500, 600 people in here watching me play Madden. Right? A terrible game. So if this game's a little bit better, it's not going to die. It's really not going to die. Exactly. Being 90 overall in a week tells you they came out with a lot. Bottom life, that's it. That, that, enough said. Enough said. Good sentence. We're 90 overall in a week. Yeah, I think they got enough cards out here. No, Madden 20. Jehovah, Madden 20 is not better than Madden 21, bro. Stop it. All right. I'm starting to realize some bots are subs right now because we're we're early in the Madden year. We're closing around twenty six hundred subs. Some of the bots are some of the subs are bots now. You know the sub only thing kind of only worked during the summertime. Training is training is. Let me be honest with you. Training is a dry dildo in the ass. It is. I'm gonna be honest. It's it's obnoxious. It is obnoxious. But we're stuck. We're stuck, chat. I'm, I'm like, seriously. Like, they got you by the nuts. And they're, they're holding the nuts and they're squeezing and twisting the shit out of them. Like, like, like it's, it's, obno it's insanely obnoxious. And I don't think anybody denies that. Training is, ob like, it, bro, I'm $1,800 in on my real team. A thousand has to be just for training. I would probably say, like, if it wasn't for training, I feel like like two, three hundred dollars can get you a team. Seriously. And I will tell you this: the only thing they have to do, right? Hear me on this: just give us back hundred percent of training. Do you guys feel that? I feel like if they did that, just give me a hundred percent. What is the like? Seriously, give me a hundred percent of the training, and then I feel like we can be cool. I feel like then there's really nothing to complain about, really. And also, give me a solo to get training. Even if the solo is is a whole NFL season, I got to play 16 games in playoffs for 10,000 training. Now, I wouldn't do it. I would rather just buy cards. But other people would do it, right? Give me some type of solo to make training. Or shit, if I win a Super Bowl, give me 5,000 training along with the coins you give me. You know? Just give me something to get training. Uh, the purpose of taxing the auction house, I don't know. It's always been like that. You know what? Honestly, because they can kind of do what they want. Let's just, the, the, the harsh reality, right? The harsh reality is they could really do whatever the hell they want, right? At the end of the day, we're going to buy this shit. Let's be real. I don't think there's any point to where I'd be like, nah, I'm not playing Madden anymore. Well, especially me, because like it's my job, right? So I'm not ever getting rid of Madden, like ever. Boycott will never work. It's really nothing. I don't know. Yes, Emerald, they can do whatever they want. They're the only football game. They have us by the nuts. And I'll be honest. This shit is fun. Team building is fucking awesome. It is. Like, let's
let's just be honest. Regardless of the game, regardless of the building a team is fun. I love it. And I feel like all of us, whether you suck at Madden or you're good at Madden or you just start playing, building a team is fun. Building a team is fun. And that's where they got us by the balls. CFM is awesome. No, when I built that team in CFM and I outsmarted all them little cocksuckers in that Windy City Madden shit and I had the best team at every fucking position and all they said, why'd you draft that quarterback in the fifth round? Oh my God, why would you do that? He sucks. He's a 64 overall. Oh, why'd you draft two middle linebackers? Oh, why'd you draft TJ Watt and Daniil Hunter? You should have got Cameron Jordan. And I had the best team in the world. And they all quit like little fucking bums. Oh, no, I, I don't want to play no more. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just, no. That's what I'm saying. That was fun. Building that team was fun. It was fun. It was a blast. I'll be honest. I loved it. There's nothing like building a team. Just like we're a week away from football, right? Is there anything better than a fantasy football draft? Like, I see all these people on Twitter, right? They post their fantasy football teams. I really don't give a shit, but I look. And I try to figure out, oh, he got him in the first round. He probably got him on the second round. Okay, that guy. Like, is fantasy football not fun as shit to draft? Like, I could do the draft and never watch a game. Seriously. I Like, in my prime fantasy football life, right? Like, before it became super mainstream and, like, like, like corny, like they made fantasy football, like, like they made it corny. Like I'm, I'm being honest. It just got too mainstream for me. I'm, you know, uh, I used to just do mock drafts, like mock, mock drafts are hell. Let's just do mock drafts. No, for real. Building teams is awesome because what do we be so mad at? Right? What do we be so mad at our football teams? At least in Philly, I guess everywhere. Right? Like Leonard Fournette just got cut. Oh, the Eagles got to go pick him up. Why? He probably sucks. He's probably washed. He got cut. He can't be that good anymore. You know? But he's Leonard Fournette, right? Then I say the Eagles, let's go pick him up. Boom. I'd be mad at the Sixers. Why we let Jimmy Butler go, right? Oh, what the hell? You kind of be mad at the GM. When you play fantasy football, you play Madden, you play CFM, you are the GM. You can do whatever you want. That's why team building is hell. Raw dog, there he is. 35 months is rough. That's a long 35 months, man. Raw Dog, the god. Best <clears throat> mutt team in the world. Raw Dog, what the mutt team costs, bro? I got to know what the mutt team costs. Raw Dog has every player all the way powered up with everything. Raw Dog's got to be at like 5K, bro, easily. Easily. Oh, you got to keep track, Raw Dog. You got to. Yeah, Raw Dog has the glitch team, bro. He's the glitch. I'm just being real. Building a team. So this goes back to the training is they have us by the balls. Literally lock jaws on the balls. So they could do whatever they want, bro. They could put a new pack out that costs $500, right? The new Julio Jones, man, 91 overall. He only comes in a $500 pack. Who says no? Are you buying that pack? Probably buying the Julio Jones. Being honest. <laughs> I'm just I'm just being honest. And what's crazy is they what if they made alright, what if they made him like 94 speed right now? I don't know. And I feel like this is my point. Now honestly, most of you guys probably wouldn't buy it. And I'm gonna be real, I I'm not making buku money like that to buy something like that. But my point is, they could do it. Right? Go cut some lawns, man. They could do it. Michael Thomas will never be better than Julio Jones and Madden. Never. There's nothing. It's just like, it's impossible. I'm just saying, they could do it because they have us by the balls, man. And, and training. And this is the thing. Why would they change training? Do you think there's anybody out there? Seriously, do you think there's a human being that looks at training and say, you know what? This is a scam. I'm not playing this year. 
get their they got their mutt team already, then looks at the training and that's the deciding factor of why they're not playing. I think that's literally impossible for that to be the deciding factor of why somebody quits playing. Right? I think it's just at that point you got to kind of accept the training. You have to accept it. Yeah. Michael Thomas would never be better than Julio in Madden simply because Julio will always be three or four p- points faster than him. You know, and it's not like Julio is like Marquise Goodwin where he's just speed. He's going to also have route running, also have catch, also have everything. He's just going to be faster. So at the end of the day, if they're the same catch, same route running, and one has faster speed, it's going to be better. It's really not a debate. Please stop debating Michael Thomas and Julio Jones in the game because as far as I'm concerned, Julio Jones is way better than Michael Thomas in real life and Madden. But... Do not continue this conversation because I don't want to talk about it. You know. But anyway, let's talk. I do want to talk about we're all going to talk more about this topic because we're going to get to the NFL drop EA. We're going to go over all these tweets. We're going to we did this probably two nights ago too, but we're going to do it more on the podcast because shit's funny. I do want to talk about this weekend. We are having a sub tournament brought to you, of course, by Players Lounge, the number one site for gambling, for gaming. If you guys think you're good, play for $5, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 300, whatever you want to play for. Those links are below in both in my YouTube and on my Twitch uh, Players Lounge. You guys can just click those links, sign up, start playing today. But we're going to have a free sub tournament. You're sub to me, you're in the tournament. Period. That's that's all that's how it works. You know, and uh, it's going to be for a thousand dollars on Xbox this Saturday. All right, boys. So I just want to get, I want to give you guys. It's going to be mutt one million percent. I'm playing mutt. Uh, I'm not playing regs. We will not play regs. That's boring as hell for me. We're gonna play mutt. Uh, if you want to play dollar games, they probably have it on Players Lounge. Now they'll probably take forty of your forty cents out of your dollars, so you're probably only playing for sixty cents. Free. You know what I'm saying? Signups. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep everybody posted. Definitely follow my Twitter if you haven't. I'm gonna post a lot more about it. Just want to give you guys. The, just want to give you guys the heads up about it and be ready for it on Saturday. It's gonna be a great time, man. If you guys watch the Needed Gaming Invitational, we're gonna have that level of production for this tournament. We're gonna make sure it's a great one. My biggest goal is to have the best tournaments known on 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 any site. On any site, any money. This channel will have the best ones. Because one, I'm by far the best commentator, the best talker. We have the best production. Everything will be better than anywhere else, I promise you guys. So Saturday, it's going to be popping. So if you guys want to play, full mutt, full send Saturday, man. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Keep you guys updated on that. But I want to let you guys know that I did lock it in. Uh, confirmed Saturday sub tournament. It's going to be popping. We're going to sit here and sip, watch some Madden, turn up, and have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Try you there. Are you out of the full mutt, man? Make sure you guys are here Saturday for a thousand dollars. Now, how many people do you guys think? Uh, I now next week or next month we're going to do PlayStation Four. Now that because that's my goal. I, um, like I said, make sure you guys do have a Players Lounge account. That's the only thing I'll tell you guys now. More details will be coming, but if you guys have don't have a Players Lounge account, make sure you guys hit those links below and sign up Players Lounge. Use my links, please, because I do get credit if you guys put some money in there or something. You guys want to play a $10 game, $20 game. And honestly, if you play on Players Lounge, man, listen, make a new account. You need a fresh account anyway. Use my links when you make the account and deposit your money. You know, help your boy out. You feel me? But anyway... I appreciate, like I said, I appreciate all my subs. I want to give away $1,000 to a winner. It's going to be super popping this weekend. Um, And you know we're going to have this ready just in case. Just in case. Just in case it gets sweaty. It might get sweaty. Somebody might need to turn up on on a money drive. Might happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure about mutt games. I'm not sure they can legally, like, say it's a mutt game. I'm pretty sure you could play somebody and just say, let's play Mutt, and people would be down for it. Especially with the way, uh, the, the I, I honestly feel like Mutt is going to take over. But I feel legally, it's one, it's already hard for the gambling aspect of playing a video game. But once you add like the pay-to-play thing, I think it's a little weird. But I'm, I'm pretty sure people will play you if you hop in the chat room on Players Lounge. You know, we could check it out right now. 
And I'll be real, like, they don't really be, res the boys don't really be responding to me on here, you know what I'm saying? This is Players Lounge right here. Boom, dub dot w. This is my name. Come down here, Madden. Boom. $80 tournament for the rookies. This is for the rookies. This is level one to two. When you go on Players Lounge, right, you get put in a level. Now I'm a level five. When you when you sign up, you'll be a level one. So what that means is you're only going to play levels ones and twos right away. And it shows your level every time you play. So if you go in there with a level one, you're only going to play other level ones. And that's here go the $80 tournament just for levels ones and twos. So the, so the super bots like the rest of you. You know what I'm saying? Level five is high. See my man M Tweeds. That's my, my latest opponent. But you go in here, you type in the chat room. My man said a thousand dollars above, you know. Here got one guy looking for level one through three. He wants to play Madden on Xbox level one through three. Nobody that crazy tough. And you'll see a lot of that for real, for real. But that's that's what it's about. It, listen, it's a good experience. It's gonna make you better. I remember doing this when I had no money, back when I was you know eighteen, nineteen, whatever it may be. But this Saturday we will have a sub tournament, so I'm excited about that. Excited to get it popping and make sure you guys have a good time. And somebody's going to win the money. You know what I'm saying? Tweeties. Tweety birds. Are you tough this year, Tweeties? Long hair. Better playing the sub tournament, bro. Bro, I'm going to be real. If, if my subs, if y'all don't play in the sub tournament, y'all can't cap about how good you are, how bad you are. Yes, Ethan, you rocking? Sub tournament on players lounge, bro. I will get more links later. They will be provided, man. Make sure you guys follow my follow my Twitter, my Instagram, everything. I will continue to post about throughout the week. Just want to let you guys know Saturday, if you're available, if you're at home, you are playing in the sub tournament. I don't care if you're ass. I don't care if you're the best player in the world. Rock out play. It's free. You know, you get a little bit of experience in the tournament, and it's fun at the end of the day. That's all. For real. Well, if you're banned on Players Lounge, you're banned for a good reason. I support all Players Lounge's decision. If you're not, if you can't play on there, then God bless. Uh, you won't be playing in this tournament. Yes, Dirty Bird, and I will tell you the next one I do, which in a month uh, or whenever, is going to be PlayStation Four. Promise you guys on that, man. Yeah, like it, this is the thing. The thing about video games, man. Let me tell you something. The thing about video games, no matter what game it is, no matter what you're doing, the worst case scenario is that you lose at a video game. Like, seriously. I always kind of thought that. Like, the worst case scenario is I lose in a video game. Who gives a shit, really? Every Saturday thing, I mean... That's going to be tough, Tim. I'd have to talk to Players Lounge. But between me and Problem, obviously I talk to Problem a lot. We're going to try to alternate them. And I have this great idea because a lot of you guys are sub to me and Problem, right? I feel like if you're in the man community, subbing to me and Problem is like the first thing you do, right? So if we have sub tournaments, it's probably going to be the same people. So I talked to Problem. I said, listen, what if we did like me and you draft seven people or we draft 21 people and then they play it out or something like that? You know, we do we draft between all the people that are sub to both of us or something like that, really. Mm. You can never be scared to lose, man. So I really thought that would be a good idea. But I keep working out the kinks of that, get a better format and figure it out, really. Mm. Well, anyway, that is Saturday, so make sure you guys clear your calendar. And either get ready to lock in or get ready to watch. Or get ready to lock in, get popped, and then watch. Really. You know. I really almost thought about this too, right? I thought about what if we picked each other's team? Like, obviously, if we pick the best players, like, I'll pick Joke, he'll pick Fancy, I'll pick Clef, he'll pick, you know what I'm saying, Wesley, and then that's going to be the top. But what if we picked each other's team? Like, if I pick Johnny Raincoat and he picks, you know, Bobby Bananas, you know what I'm saying, then I pick, you know, Sammy Smoker, you know what I'm saying? That might be hell. We watch the bots play, and maybe one of them might pop up. 
Yeah, who knows? That could be popping. <laughs> Bobby Bananas, man. That I I got a lot of ideas. I got to figure out the best way. And honestly, problem the reason problem's good. He come up with a lot of ideas too, man. He's 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 smart on what would be popping. Bot wars, yo, bot wars, bro. Bot wars might be hell. Yo, if I put on the money drop music on bot wars. Oh man, he's in I form. He's looking for the receiver deep. What does he have? What does he got? Bot wars, bro. Bot wars. <laughs> Timmy versus Johnny tournament, bro. Bot wars would be hell, bro. Sammy Smoker <laughs> on the rise. Oh man. Bot wars would be tough, bro. Bot Wars. I, listen. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, listen. Content, right? Content. That's my problem. Some Listen. That's the problem. Some of y'all wait for EA to make the content. Over here, we make the content. You hear me? You hear me? Bot Wars. <laughs> Bot Wars. Oh, that's funny, bro. Tommy Toss. <laughs> There you go, Gunsky. You be in that. You get drafted. Bot Wars would not be unwatchable, bro. We could make Bot Wars popping. Bot Wars. <laughs> bot Wars. Bot Wars would be hell, dude. I'm telling you, Bot Wars would be hell. Streaks and slants, quick slants. Where would we, bro, that's the thing. Like, if we did bot wars, right? Say we drafted each other's team, right? And one of us all of a sudden get a little sleeper, a little a little Sammy sweat box, then he would win the tournament. He'd ruin it. <laughs> bro, user user would be better playing in bot wars than, than announcing them. <laughs> bot wars. That's the risk you take picking people. Facts, Tim. Facts. Oh man, this would be hell, dude. This would be hell. Bot wars. I mean, it's this is. I feel like I ha I would have to do it with somebody because, what if I did my own bot war tournament? <sighs> I don't know. Mm. You gotta figure out how to do it, man. Bot Wars would pop. AG, my guy with the tier one, 19 months, man. Yeah, I don't know. No, but that's my thing, Andy. They could, like, if, if we don't pick each other's team, they could, like, sandbag, bro. I gotta talk to Brad, bro. Bot Wars is tough. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot it by him, bro, and then he'll, he'll, he'll we'll figure together. We'll figure out how to do it perfect, bro. It's gonna work, bro. Trust me. Oh, we definitely have enough bots. No, it's not. It's not. It's not people on players' lines, bro. You need. This is all we need to do. Is make a tweet, right? And say everybody that sub both to me and Prob, comment below, right? And then we just got to, and plays Xbox or PlayStation, whatever, whichever one we choose. And then we just got to pick out of those dudes, honestly. And we have to pick each other's team. So you have a, you, you don't want to give somebody, so you're trying to find the bodiest person to give to the other person. I'm trying to find Derek, you know, Derek from down the street, down the street, Derek. I'm trying to find him and say, probably he on your team. Death bat. Yeah. Try out playing games, <laughs> playing games, bot wars. Jigby gotta be bad. Who wins right now in a game, M Tweeds or Jigby? My man, Heartstopper with the five gifted, my guy. Thank you, man. 
Yeah, but the sub tournaments is like you lose a game, you're out. Like you could be tough and lose the first game. That's really not. Really, we just gotta guess and see how good them dudes are. They might be ass. They might be tough. Seriously, and with it's just, I think the randomness and not knowing is the best, bro. You feel me? I feel like randomly, randomly just picking names like this guy might be tough. Austin is wanted. There he is, tier one. Austin, my guy. Thank you, man. JB wants to unban, bro. He got. I need a written apology, bro. I need a paragraph written apology or fifty dollars, one or the other. Yeah, bot. Listen, trust me, guys. Bot war is gonna happen. Just like the Madden bus is gonna happen if I ever get ten thousand subs. All right, boys. If I ever get ten thousand subs, which if I grind, honestly, if I grind enough streams, we might get to get touch ten thousand Christmas time or something. We're gonna buy a bus. Facts, facts, ones and zeros, 50 for an unban. That's how I feel. But anyway, let's talk about this, 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 this drop EA stuff, bro. NFL drop EA. As we know, EA has bought the NFL license. They are the only team that can make simulation Madden games with the NFL license. Okay, so... Um, what they want to do, my man Cuzzo with the six months. Now we are on a hype train, mid podcast hype train. Is that how we're feeling? Bots all over, bro. Bad and bus was ass. Stop it. Anyway, um, like I said, so everybody wants EA or the NFL to drop EA. Now this has become a popping thing, uh, a popping thing. On Twitter, that's bad. you guys have seen it. You guys have seen these tweets and these complainers. Because we just talked about Madden. And we all kind of had, I think everybody in the chat at least had over a, over a 6 for the, your 1 to 10. I feel like nobody hates this game right now. I feel like everybody's enjoying playing it. And uh, they don't hate it and they don't think it sucks, really. My man, Nick Mazesco, coming through with our 5 gifted right there. My guy, Nick, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Boom, big hot five gifted. So I think everybody kind of likes the game. Uh, and this is some of the tweets that we saw really um, throughout throughout the, uh, whatchamacallit, throughout the day, the last couple days. I don't know if it was today. I don't know what day it was, but this is the stuff we saw um, for the most part. Now, I don't know if you guys watched, pay attention to any of this or, uh, let me see if I can move this a little bit right here. I mean, nah, we're about right. We're good. 26 positive ratings. I mean, damn. Look at what is this? Damn, who's voting on this? God damn. This is my thing about Madden, bro. Seriously. Agree or disagree, man. I'm in, I'm in big time with the gifted. Thank you. I appreciate it, Tom. Let's go, man. I don't think is there any way you could have a negative rating for Madden 21? Seriously. Is that pot? Like, I don't think mixed, mixed, I'd be on board with mixed because there's some shit between the two clock. The lagginess of the menus is shitty. Is there really any way you can play for four days and have a negative rating of the game? Seriously. Unless you already, unless you are already, unless you're already ready, unless you didn't have any open mind at all. Seriously. I just don't, I, I just don't, let me, let me, that's how you, bro. I, and I don't know if you guys are like this either, man. I am a gameplay. I want to play the game, play the game, play the game, play the, I care about the game. I care about playing the game. I care about how it plays. I play, I care about what it's like when I play it. The other shit, the CFM stuff, I don't really care, bro. I, I don't think, like, who are the 1,400 people they, they ask this? You know, like, what even is this? Like I don't. What is this guy? Oh, he's a fa oh, he's a one follower. Oh my God! Never mind. I'm sorry. Here's my man Ryan. Four follower. Jesus Christ. Now, I, let, let, let me let me talk about this because a lot of people get. Oh my God! My man Poppy going crazy with the twenty bomb. Poppy is glitched 
insane poppy man put some demons in the chat for my man poppy a legend a lord poppy let's get it there it is but seriously man thanks poppy you guys are cracked right now now People often come to me like, how can you judge? Why would you not talk to somebody? Why does somebody need a lot of followers for you to talk to them, right? Because I don't know if you guys have a... Because this is how I feel about Twitter, right? And this is how I go about Twitter, for real, for real, as I see the demons flooding in for my man Poppy, right? One, how how you gain followers or have good conversations is by having or how you gain followers honestly is by having good conversations now you're not going to gain 10,000 followers just by having good debates or good conversations you're not but you might get 30 or 40 or 100 right by meeting people talking to them then following them and then then in turn they will follow you back so i judge i judge your credibility by kind of how many people follow you you know, because that just shows that, man, you've been in some decent conversations. You take this a little bit more serious or, you know, people value what you have to say. You know, it's not necessarily, oh, you don't have, it's not necessarily like a, man, you don't have as many followers as me, so I don't have to listen to you type of thing. It's, I want to see that other people kind of want to listen to you. And if 10 people don't want to listen to you, one, you haven't talked enough, or two, you're not saying anything that's relevant. You know what I'm saying? Poppy, thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. So that's the whole argument about, man, look at these one follower accounts. You know, it's not, it's not, man, you need a lot of followers for people to take care of you. For me, 100 is the number for me to respond to somebody. Because I'll be ready to respond. You guys don't know how many times during the day I click on something ready to respond and see it's from a seven follower person. But if you got 100, I, I, I value your opinion a little bit more because there's 100 people out there that kind of, I don't want to say support you, but follow you or kind of like have took some type of interest in what you have to say. So therefore, it can't all be absolute just negativity or bullshit, really. So that's, that's kind of how I feel about Twitter following and things like that. You know, but anyway, let's get back to the shit. So that's what I mean by the seven. These dudes just say anything. These little seven accounts, right? I hate when dudes show one clip. Dude, this is why the game sucks. All right, that's one thing we talked about. Madden 21 is straight trash. See, I I don't feel I I feel like you can't. I feel like you can't. Um. I feel like you can't say that. Really, you can't. You you can't say it's trash after one week. Just like I feel like I'm afraid to say it's really good. I feel like you can't say it's trash either. You know what I'm saying? Here, Larry Holmes. My man with zero followers. Dragon Knight, five followers. Bills New York, 29 followers. Dave, 26 followers. Like, all the top... Like, there's nobody, bro. Buck is button, one follower. Cancer Kids, yeah, this guy's fucking awesome, bro. Like, look at the people that are trending on this right now, bro. Four followers. Zero followers. They're all bot accounts, bro. I swear to God. Lowest rated video game in the history of Metacritic and fans are demanding. Bro, these dudes are all bots. This dude's soft drink, dude. This is like the main guy. Now, I never watched any of his videos. Let's watch one of his videos, bro. Let's do it, because I got to see. Two days ago. Yo, he kind of got it popping. All right, let's watch this, bro. I'm, I'm with the shits. I'm an open-minded person. No, I like light mode. No, I, I'm an open-minded person. I'm a watch. I'm gonna watch. Open-minded. I feel like I feel like that's the one of the biggest. Can I theater mode and get not get too big? Uh, that's a little too big. Pause. I feel like I'm a like-minded person. If you have an account and start tweeting 
Hashtag NFL drop EA. Hashtag fix Madden franchise was a good start, but it wasn't good enough. We need to get the NFL's attention. Okay. Madden good. NFL 20. Good luck with that. Twist Metacritic user score in Metacritic history. The PS4 version has 571 negative user reviews, two mixed reviews, and four. All right, let me tell you something. One, I have no fucking idea where this little critic thing is. No idea. I don't know how to get to it. I don't know how to access it. I feel like I'm one of the biggest Madden gamers in the history of Madden. Be honest with you. Um, do any of you guys know what this is? Where these people voted? And and honestly, let me tell you this. Another thing about this. Where is your life that you have time to fucking do this? I'm just being honest. Do you got like seriously? Like, let me go. Let me go vote on it. Let me go vote on this. Do y'all vote this? Do y'all vote on shit like this? I don't know what Metacritic. I don't know what Metacritic is. I don't know what it is. I'm literally asking you. So I'm gonna watch this video. I don't think a Madden player rates a Madden game. Have you guys ever, seriously, because I feel like we have a group of guys here that play Madden. Have you guys ever went and rated a Madden game on any website? I don't know how many people are in here. Oh, a thousand people are in the podcast? Oh, we're popping right now. Seriously, I'm just asking. Yeah, I, honestly, I just don't know what Metacritic is. It's not my, it's not my twist. I'm not a... The only thing I ever... Now, let me hear you guys on this. The only thing I ever rated was Yelp. You guys ever use Yelp to find, like, a restaurant or something like that when you... Especially when I'm in, like, uh... When I'm in, like, when I'm out of town. I'm in a different city or something. I feel like... I feel like Yelp is a glitch. Right? And my one buddy, like, 10 years ago, right? He was hip to Yelp. And he was like, yo, if you become, like, verified on Yelp, like, people are verified on Twitter... They'll, uh, they'll watch them call it. Then they'll, uh, they'll give you like extra food and they'll give you special privileges and shit. So like 10 years ago, my man was like, I'm heavy Yelp boy. Like he really, yeah, Yelp is definitely for Karen. But my man was like, it was like, bro, I'm going to be the first Yelp verified boy in the squad. So they give me hella good seats and shit like that. That's all I'm saying. Now I might put some rating on that. I'm not really, honestly, hear me on this. Maybe I'm fucking up the world. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm making it hard for you. I'm never leave a negative review person ever in my life. Point. Here's my issue. I I don't give people one or two stars on Uber. Bro, I'm the quickest to give somebody five stars. I don't give a shit, honestly. Seriously. I, I, I could care less about hurting somebody else's business or life. Seriously. I really don't. Never leave anything negative. I might be fucking shit up for the rest of y'all because maybe y'all won't be warned. Maybe y'all would think that restaurant's hot because I didn't say nothing about it. But I literally, I have nothing negative to say about somebody else. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. If I go to the little, if I go to the Chinese store and their general chicken was some shit, you know, I'm not going to go on Yelp and just start telling everybody else their general chicken is shit. That's none of my business, honestly. You know, if Timmy Raincoat wants to try their general chicken, God bless. He's going to try it and probably think it sucks too. But it's not my job to tell him that the general chicken sucks. You know, so for me, I, I never, I never want to like negatively influence, you know, in affect somebody else's like career, I guess. You know, I, I really don't understand. You know, I don't really, I'm not a, I'm not a leave a negative person. I'm a, in, yo, I can't lie. I'm the opposite, bro. You're getting all fucking five stars. Like who, like, who gives a shit, dude? Listen, and if you went and got General Chicken because some some guy on the internet told you it's good, aren't you an asshole? Oh, this guy said it's good. Oh, dub dub dub, he said it's good. Let me go eat. I do it all the time, though. But at the end of the day, I'm going to have my opinion. And if it sucks, can I really be mad at that person? Maybe he likes some different shit than I do. You know? Uber, I give everybody the fastest five star in the world. You know what else I'd be mad about, bro? Now, I'm just going off right now. We got to talk about Madden. But I hate when people be mad at their Uber driver for talking, bro. I hate that shit. Who the fuck are you that you can't talk to Sam driving the Uber? You're that goddamn good that you can't talk to my man for 10 minutes going to the Pizza Hut or some shit? Now, if you're taking a four-hour Uber, okay, Sam, mind your business, bro. Okay? 
But if you're doing a 15 minute drive, you can't talk to Sam about his life and his day for 15 minutes? Who, what is your life? Are you Paris Hilton? That you're too good for Sam, the Uber driver? I hate that shit. Oh, I hate when my Uber driver talks. What type of person are you? I dead ass. I hate oh everybody. Oh my god, man. I just hate I like bro. Something for me is kind of something. I don't want to say cool, but you like you know what would always I don't want to say overwhelms me, man, but like it kind of like takes me back all the time. Like, say I watch uh, some news or some shit, and they're talking about, you know, across the world. Bro, there's so much shit in this world that we will never know, never meet, never go in our little lives, right? Like, we'll just never be in 99.999% of the world. We'll never go. 99.9% .9 of the people will never meet. You know? And that's, for me, that's it's a little bit overwhelming. Like, damn, like... I. So it, for me, it's kind of cool hearing about Sam's little life and why he's driving an Uber. Maybe he's a drummer and he doesn't have a gig right now and he's got to make his little $60 a day driving an Uber. You know, I'd be wondering, Sam might have some shit that I, he might teach me something new that I didn't know before I talked to Sam. Now I know Sam. Sam, have a good day. And you know what? Sam could be having a shitty ass mood, right? We just heard about my man Chadwick uh, Boseman, right? Passing away, right? Rest in peace to the king. Because honestly, on a side note, him battling cancer that long and never asking sympathy from anybody is just, that's just strength, dude. For real. That's like super respect, right? So in other words, that's a man. For real, that's what it is. That's a man. But for me, you never know what Sam's going through. And your little 10 minutes of talking to him could change his whole attitude. It could change his whole life. You know, just by giving this, making this man feels like he's important. But no, you don't want to fucking talk to him while you're driving to McDonald's in your Uber. I seriously. I just, I feel like, bro, like, I, like, I hate when people complain about the Uber driver talking. But that's why I give everybody five stars, you know. Maybe my five stars make people happy. You know, and if their service is shitty for you because I gave them five stars, I'm sorry to you. But seriously, like, I'm just saying. I just hate people that are too good to talk to an Uber driver. This man is driving you somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Man, maybe I didn't feel safe. Tell maybe maybe I was turned up. Don't maybe maybe it was a wild ass ride. But I didn't die though. I might have had fun. Bro, I, I, yo, I dismiss ratings. All, like, you have no idea. Fill out a survey. They give me a survey. You know where to check the box. I take the pen and just go, very good. Vroom, right up the bitch. Good job, man. Tell, tell your bosses you're amazing. And, and, bro, the other thing I do. Now, this is, I don't know how we got to this. And I'm just, I'm, I'm raining. Hope you guys are enjoying Always ask people's names, right? If you're on the phone, on customer service with AT and T, what's your name? Oh, Larry. Okay, Larry. Next guy you talk to, Larry did a good job helping me. Boom. Maybe Larry. Maybe somebody's happy about Larry. Maybe Larry gets. I mean, he gets a little bump up because he did a good job. Yo, when you acknowledge somebody's name, it empowers them. It empowers them. I'm telling you, it makes them feel important. You make somebody feel important, it changes their whole mood. Seriously, man. Just call people by their names. It just like, it, it just empowers people. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just, I'm serious. Call people by their name. When you're on customer service, you learn that person's name and they're talking to you. The next sentence, start with their name. Oh my God. Problem. But anyway, back to this, this shit right here, right? Back to this. I, I like to laugh. You know, I like to laugh. I like to laugh, boys. So let's go back to this user Metacritic. Let's go back. Positive reviews. It currently has a 65 overall critic score, which is... First of all, let me tell you something, bro. How the fuck can you judge Madden in a week? I, I want to fight everybody that judges. This isn't a week. This is the first day. The lowest in Madden's history. How many games do you play in one day? IGN gave the game a 6, with the actual written review being much more critical than ever before 
and I have to give them props for that considering they've been giving the game an 8 or a 9 for the past decade. The game has 10 mixed or negative reviews on Metacritic from legitimate publications, and only 4 positive reviews. First of all, this guy's voice, bro. <clears throat> no way, no way you hang out with this guy. No way you ever hang out with this guy. Which seem to be written by people who aren't educated on the series. When shown negative reviews on Twitter, from what looks to be Amazon reviews. Now, never thing, never thing. From somebody's voice, you can tell them that they're goofy looking. This guy, one million percent. You can tell he's goofy. Just by the way he talks. Like, he just, like, bro, he just goofball. Then Oldenburg, the lead gameplay designer, Clint replied himself. by saying that two is better than one. All right, Clint is over that. No, nah, like, bro, what the fuck is he supposed to do? Amazon reviews. Clint Oldenburg, the lead <laughs> gameplay designer, replied by saying that two is better than one. Uh, for me, that replies a W, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Clint is hell for that. Madden 21 is the first Madden game to release since the NFL renewed their exclusive license with EA until 2026. Clearly, EA feels like they have an extreme level of comfort due to this agreement, and they have absolutely no desire to innovate or create a good video game. People are going to buy... Yo, they innovated with the, the ability point system. Super innovation. Super W for the game. It anyway, because it is the only NFL simulation game. Absolutely. So, we're going to keep playing it. You're right. It is a monopoly. Yes. There is no competition for a simulation NFL game, which is why EA can get away. See, this shit pisses me off. Like, come on, bro. With doing like, what they have been doing for it. Honestly, chat, I, 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 there's nobody that plays more mad than me. I've never seen this. I'd be hoping to see one of these because honestly, you know what else? Listen, let's like this. I've never seen this, right? And and throne, listen, Kep is in here, throne is in here. I'd be wanting to see this because the content would be awesome. Like, bro, and I never get anything cool like this. For a decade. <laughs> Madden isn't even a simulation. <laughs> I know, I never get nothing like this. The glitches, the neglect of franchise mode, the true simulation game mode. The incredibly unrealistic gameplay All and right. focus shifting towards. I don't know what the fuck y'all want here. Yo, this is pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe I'm a bot and maybe I really don't know shit. But I feel like I feel like that's pretty cool right there. I can do this. I feel like this is pretty cool. <laughs> how is how are we? <laughs> that's pretty cool. There's monetizable game modes such as Ultimate Team and The Yard, which is the furthest thing from simulation football. So EA has exclusive rights to making a simulation football game, yet the game they release does not live up to that definition. So they are simply holding the license hostage so that no one who wants a simulation football game can ever get what they want. Look. EA can make an arcade NFL game with all the microtransactions and unrealistic gameplay they want. But the NFL needs to open their license back up and drop their exclusive rights with EA so that those, like myself, who want a simulation NFL game can actually have the possibility of getting one. <laughs> EA doesn't want to make a simulation NFL game? Fine by me. Let another company do it. Tweet hashtag NFL drop EA. I don't know if I have the reach to get it trending on Twitter, especially since I deleted my Twitter account, but maybe if this video gets shown to enough people, we have a shot. If it goes trending, we will get the NFL's attention. At this point, oh, yeah, I'm we sure, have bro. to get the NFL's attention. Enough is enough. Just visit the Madden subreddit. You'll find oh, the Lord. insane glitches. This is the pit of hell. Reviews, the mud and Madden sub. We need to, we need to check out Reddit one. Bills. Yo, next the podcast. NFL yo, that ass. Next podcast where I have nothing else to talk about. We're, we're going deep, deep diving into subreddit. One million percent. Their brand with this game. The point behind an exclusive rights agreement, besides maximizing profit, is to maintain quality control. If anyone could make an NFL game, then you could see horrible games released that make the NFL look bad. The ironic thing is, that's exactly what Madden is at this point. The NFL has locked themselves into an agreement where they have one simulation game that poorly represents their product, is beloved by absolutely no one, and is worked on by people contempt with getting a 2 out of 10 rating. Someone needs to be held accountable, and I think that someone should be Electronic Arts. We can actually make a difference.
When Star Wars Battlefront 2 was set to release with an extremely large amount of microtransactions and a pay to win business model, the internet. By the way, I will fry y'all on battle. On this game right here, I will fry. I'm actually kind of hell, actually. Outrage caused Disney to step in and force immediate changes. Hashtag fix Madden franchise got EA to respond, but they delivered a game with absolutely no updates to franchise mode. We still have no idea when or even if these potential updates are coming, and even if they do come, that won't be enough to salvage this game considering how awful the gameplay is. EA uses Bro, the how awful the gameplay the is? Bro, the game ain't even- Yeah, see, that's why I just, I just want to be done. The gameplay's so awful on our, the three games I played. The gameplay sucks, right? On the three games I played, the gameplay sucks, right? The game's been out a week. I'd be afraid to say it's good because it's only been out a week. That, 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 bro. Listen, I'll be on board with the franchise. Yeah, listen, I'll be on board with the franchise, uh, the franchise fixed franchise mode because they're right. It could use some shit, right? But at the end of the day, if you're going to tell me the gameplay sucks two days into the game being out, I really can't take you serious. I really can't. I feel like it takes 100 games, dude. I really do. To at least form some type of an opinion. Games. And none of these fucking dudes play 100 games. I, I, would, I would venture to that this guy doesn't, hasn't played 5 games. Despite the fact that Frostbite was created and intended to be used for first person shooters. You want to know why NFL 2K5 and All Pro Football 2K8 looked so good? They were built what? on an engine specifically created for this look better than madden look so chat does this look better you want to know why nf this look better than madden 21 i mean i just want to talk about this right here bro madden 21 told 2k5 this look better than madden 21 i just want to know if i'm not tripping or not because for me it doesn't Five and all pro i mean they got look they got x factors all over the field look at this shit he got the silver x factor bronze x factor for football 2k8 looks oh so okay good. he burned he burned double coverage okay specifically created for football video games. There have been mm. numerous accounts of EA developers anonymously bashing the Frostbite engine, and these were developers of Anthem, a game that Frostbite was actually meant to be used for. Yet the NFL is allowing EA to release a terrible NFL game with this engine. This is why everything is pre-canned and scripted and animation based in this game over the past four iterations. All right, let me There's ask another question. Or Listen, let me answer. Let me ask you guys a question. Seriously, how do you make video games without animations? Let me just ask that. Like, how do you make something that doesn't require animations? Is that possible? Because I, I feel like a video game is animated, right? Just like a cartoon is animated. You know. Like, so how is there not animations? There has always been animations in every video game. This is an animation of him catching the football. Right? He's over the shoulder. I'm saying, I, the over the shoulder catch, they do that in Madden. I don't know what Madden you've been playing. But that's an animation. I'm just saying. I, I just don't understand the animation or argument. Organic to the gameplay. There's also no real improvements each year. EA simply tweaks a few ones and zeros to change the game's meta, rather than actually innovating or taking steps towards creating an actual good game. We have no option other than getting the NFL's attention. People have tried boycotts before and were unsuccessful. I highly encourage anyone watching this not to buy Madden 21, but a boycott is unlikely. What's not unlikely is getting hashtag NFL drop EA trending. Go to every NFL post, every Madden post, Every two Yo, I really feel like this guy has. T I feel like this is this is text to speak or whatever. I, I type this, but I, I feel like this is not his real voice. I really think he like wrote all this down and had had like, bro, there's no way this is a real person's voice. K post, every CBS Sports post, every NBC post, every single account you can think of, even Wendy's, and reply with this hashtag. Make tweets about your experience with the game, glitches you've seen missing features that were in Madden 05 or NFL 2K5, memes, whatever you want, and include hashtag NFL drop EA. Will this be successful? Oh, got me? We won't know unless we try. Oh, this one I get aired out, oh, I get killed. The team in microtransaction revenue back into their games, but instead keeps the extra revenue for themselves, specifically mm. their CEO, Andrew Wilson, who is paid 56% more 
than the median for CEOs of major companies. True. Madden uses pro players to market their game who are racist. Ooh. Dub dot dubby. Mm. Someone EA has used to promote their competitive scene has said the N-word numerous times mm. with a hard R publicly mm. on Twitter. He also makes content aimed at encouraging kids to spend money gambling mm. on ultimate team packs in videos where he is trying to tell people how to become a pro player. Volterax is another example. Mm. Mm. I'm hell. Using the I'm N -word with a hard R publicly. This is so fucking lame. Yet EA First likes of all. him so much that they First of all. to include him in the game as a playable coach this year until they receive backlash. Yet EA has the audacity to act progressive and put Black Lives Matter all over their game, along with end racism on their mouthpieces. So you can support white people who use the N-word in a clearly racist tone, yet act progressive at the same time? Is this what the NFL wants to see with their exclusive Damn, I'm getting canceled, NFL simulation bro. game? I'm getting canceled. In a time like this, EA just wants your money. That's it. Stop giving it to them and start tweeting hashtag NFL drop EA. NBA 2K is a more popular and better selling game than Madden, despite the fact that it has plenty of issues. The NFL is the most watched sport in America. No, people really be eating this shit up, bro. I might have to change my YouTube to this type of vibes. Man 21 is not good. It's that time of year again, where EA drops a new Madden game that is basically the same game as the year before, besides some small tweaks, and nearly every YouTuber media outlet uh, IGN uh, an average gamer falls for the hype despite the fact that Madden is so far behind every other sports video game on the market including EA's other titles it seems like most people are willing to first of all let me tell you this chat what sport game is good bro what sport game is good I uh, Madden is the best sport game I, I, I will I will I will fight somebody to the death that Madden is the best sport game out rest my case to give the game a positive review simply because it's a step in the right direction from the year before. Over the past 10 years, IGN has referred to every single Madden game as a step in the right direction. And every single year, because the bar is so low, people are willing to accept a step in the right direction without ever expecting or holding the game to a standard of actually being a good sports game. So this may be one of the few negative reviews of the game on the internet, at least for a month or so, the same thing happened last year, and while I might get a thousand dislikes and a bunch of angry comments from people who feel the need to defend a poorly made game made by a billion dollar company, at least I'm going to be consistent with my views from the start rather than falling for the hype early on, only to hate on the game a month later when everyone else realizes it actually is a low quality product and then it becomes popular to criticize it. This is a review for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC versions of the game, not the next gen version. I will review that when it comes out, so if you feel like my opinion on this game was valuable by the end of this video, feel free to subscribe so you'll catch that review as well. Can't wait, the bro. The big new additions in this game are a 6v6 arcade game mode called The Yard, an improved face of the franchise career mode titled Rise to Fame, and yeah, that's basically it. The Yard is actually an example of EA trying something new, but it's just not fun. It's bogged down by Madden's awful gameplay. It looks cool but it was a complete disappointment when I played it. It felt soulless and lifeless. But The Yard highlights exactly what EA's issue has been for this entire console generation. Each year they focus- All right, The Yard is popping. All their time and effort on everything except the core game. To put <clears> salt <throat> into the wounds, The Yard has equipment such as mouth guards that players have been begging for for years, yet mouth guards aren't in the rest of the game. Let me be honest with you guys here with mouth guards. I, I wouldn't have noticed if it wasn't in the game. All right, man. Where's our hashtag again? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Hashtag drop EA, bro. I need to find somebody that's relevant here, man. Oh, McAfee? I gotta watch my man McAfee. That's my guy. I will be honest, chat. McAfee is the most famous person that follows me on Twitter. One million percent. Let's watch my man Mac. McAfee is the fucking goat, dude. I'll be honest. Did he really? Look, where does that, bro? How is it not on like my? How is it not on my? 
I feel like this should be the first video that pops up for me. Earl Thomas situation over there in Baltimore. All right, y'all lied. Yes, McAfee is the most famous person that follows me. AJ, you a big video game player? No, I'm me, not. Me neither. But let me tell you why this is going to be eye-opening to you and I. So there was a big movement on the internet this weekend. Uh, that was like NFL... NFL 21? NFL right? Stop EA or something like uh, that. Or, or NFL... What was the exact thing? I forget what it was. It. Hashtag... I saw it in the group earlier. NFL Drop EA, okay? So the EA uh, is obviously for EA Sports. It's in the game. They obviously own Madden. But the, NF the Madden community on the internet fucking hates the Madden makers of EA. I, it is, I do not know this is a real <laughs> hey, thing. Lion. We're not really in the video game community, you and I, AJ, but the Madden community is sick of EA Sports. They want the NFL to cut their relationship with EA Sports. They want somebody else to make the NFL game, the football game, because people, I think, enjoy playing it and love the thought of what it could be. But I guess EA Sports is just dropping the ball completely. I'm not a big video game player. Neither are you. I'm so to bring in, it was a guy who was tweeting this weekend about it. Good friend of ours, Darius Butler, to chit-chat. He's not on. Uh, he has not answered. Uh, he just oh. he, uh, gave me the little... Uh, Red button. Oh, looks like hashtag NFL drops. Well, I'll, I'll try again right now. Well, no, I think they were both trending. Oh, there's a few of them. Yeah, you got to remember, anytime something like that trends, there's going to be alternative hashtags being used as well. The typo will also. The, the typo ah. trend will always go. But I guess now, Ty, you're a big Madden player. Mm -hmm. That meme, that Spider-Man meme uh, about Madden, in the entire thing. Like, that is how a lot of people feel, is that just the EA sports are just very lazy. They have not gotten on with it. It was trending, and it was very loud. I got tweets this morning that were like, is there any way you could potentially talk about this on your show? We need more people to know about it. What is it? Yeah, I mean, I always knew that people didn't like it, but I think only recently, like, the public outcry has gotten so bad. Like, I saw the couple screenshots got released of the new game, and, like, some guy, like, zoomed in really tight and you can see that they had like it still said Madden 19 on there and like the crowd and like Madden 20 so they really don't I mean it's like polishing up a, a turd you know like they don't do shit they just change the rosters over pretty much here's somebody that was tweeting about it a little bit upset who plays the game a lot ladies and gentlemen Darius Butler yeah. 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 Woo. Um, can hear you guys can you hear us can you hear us I can't hear you Pat oh I can hear you uh, I can't hear you Oh, oh man, no. no, Z, unmute, Z, unbelievable. Hey, he was passionate about. Do you see the new backdrop? There we go. Oh, oh there we go. Here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. What's uh, good, baby? Hey, D, but love the backdrop. Love what you got going on. Um, you look good. Great to talk to you. This weekend, the internet got loud about EA Sports and what they've done with the Madden franchise. You were a yeah. part of that community. What is the problem with Madden, and why does everybody hate EA Sports for it? Um, it just hasn't developed for a long time, man. It has developed. It's, it's got real glitchy. Um, got oh real glitchy. The, the real football movements like aren't there. Oh, actually, my like a few God. months ago, maybe a few weeks ago, I like um, reached out to Twitter, like, hey man, let me come in and help you fix this game. Cause this, like you said, it's like a community. I grew up playing man as a kid. I always wanted to be on man. Like obviously, I wanted to make it to the NFL, but like being on man was a big deal. Checking your ratings, like that's a big deal. So um, it, I don't play it as much anymore, and part of it is because it hasn't. Um, oh, that's mad because. Man. Because it hasn't developed, it got better. So um, it, it's definitely a lot of room for improvement. I wanted to get better, man. So that's why everybody hates you, just because the game isn't as good as it could be or as it should be in the year 2020. And the Madden community is like, listen, we gave you a chance in 2017, 2018, 2019. This is bullshit. It's costing us how much money is a new game? 60 bucks. 60 bucks, and you're just yeah. giving us the same game with new jerseys on it. Is that why everybody's upset at EA Sports? Set is that um because you got a different part you got a different mode so some people like the mutt mode some people like playing franchise like i'm a franchise guy like i wanted to create a franchise i want to sign guys i want the game plan all extend all this type of stuff that mode is ter horrible um so playing that and then you just look back and like the game was i feel like so much better like 10 15 years ago and then now you see a lot of people talking about when 2k had the game and, uh, you know, back in, back in, like, 2005 and how that, that game is still better than today's game. So it's just, it's so much room to grow. And people feel like 
EA has gotten lazy on their part on making it a better product because they have exclusive rights to the NFL roster. And um, so they're saying, you know, that's why you see the hashtag, I think NFL drop EA, because the fans want a better product, man. I can't blame them. Well, that's what, like, it, it's like anywhere. They don't have any competition. Why wouldn't they get lazy? Like, it sounds like EA is comfortable. Who, If they have exclusive rights for the rosters and nobody else does, there's no one else yeah. that can push them off that ledge. It's, it's got to be the NFL that dumped them because – there's no other company that's going to come in and take it over, is there? I would feel like I'm getting bamboozled. That's what they feel like. You're just, yeah. Oh yeah. You're, I'm getting. You're you're hustling me out of sixty dollars every year, and it's the same old bullshit. Sixty dollars? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wish. The price is going up. So if the price is going up. I need the game to get better. I need the game to improve. You got players. If you look on any of these players, like they're oh, you know, I add you to my team or I'll play against you. And you go look at the comments. It's a bunch of comments just destroying the game. You see a lot of people posting customer reviews. So. It's all, it's all, I don't understand how they're that, um, you know, unaware uh, to fix it, it at got this a, point. It got a point four or something yeah. like that out mm -hmm. of 100. It got a point, or no, yeah. out of 10? No. <laughs> out of 100? Yeah, I believe so. It got a point four score from the community, the Madden community, out of like 100 or something Jeez. like that. I don't even know how that's even possible. <laughs> that, that, we we got we to gotta get their attention, man. We got to get something going. Like, I, I'm a part of the community. I don't want to see them go. I like the, you know, if it's in the game, it's in the game. I grew up with that, man. So we, we gotta we gotta we gotta figure something out, man. We got to. The internet was loud this weekend. I mean the internet was loud this weekend. Well and why would they care? Because like you said, they have the exclusive right. All these people are bitching after the fact when they've already bought the game. So it's like Well next year we'll be better. Yeah, exactly. I haven't bought the game. I exactly. Bought it this year. Oh because so last you're... year I was so disappointed last year. Time to get into DMs, boys. Now, is he going to see my DM because he follows me? Is he actually going to see my DM, bro? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, we got a Jigby. Hold on. We got a Jigby. <laughs> a Jigby apology. This is the paragraph. Dear W.W. I Jigby. Look at what he wrote, bro. This is the worst. I am sincerely sorry that I told you you suck at man after you do an interception in Man 21. Nah, that's not it, partner. You ain't getting back like that. You ain't getting back like that, bro. Nah, you're not getting back like that. It ain't that. It ain't that simple. I'm just gonna say, have a real man player on your show next time you talk, man. Boom. There it is. Have a real Madden champion. Okay, you're right. Instead of player, that's right. That's right. You're right. Champion. 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 I feel like I can't. I feel like I can't just go out of nowhere and start sucking dick. I feel like I. I feel like I gotta keep it real. I can't just be like, oh, I love you so much. I love you. I'm a fan of you, Pat. Yes, please. Would you love me on the? Would you love me on the show? I feel like that's that. That's corny as shit. Y'all got me chopped. I ain't send this joint yet. Oh, I ain't even. I, I ain't send this joint yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom. I feel like I can't start sucking dick. Picture that. Picture that. Picture me, Madden champion. You know what? I'm kind of like the Pat McAfee of Madden. I kind of feel that way. Like, he was really good. He wasn't Vinatieri or, you know, one of the Lecklers or some shit. But he was good, and he was the man. Put a fist emote. Put a fit. No, that's all I'm putting, bro. GG's. No. I feel like... I feel like I said, Pat Pat is the, the most famous person that follows me. For real, for real. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he keeps following me after I DM him. Too aggressive. Man, man, fuck that, bro. Am I ready? Witness, I'm always ready to talk about Madden. And you know this. And you know this, man. And you know this. <laughs> and you know this, man. Drinking water. You guys are know the vibes. Oh, if he DM'd me back already. That's probably Jigby. Oh, uh, look. Dang, Jigby wrote another paragraph. 
Dear Dub Dad W, I, Jig B, I'm sincerely sorry that I told you suck at Mad. I fully regret my decisions that night. I will look to improve my decisions making and make your stream a better place. All right, 20 bucks. That's a decent paragraph, 20 bucks. That's 20 bucks now, not 50. 20 bucks, not 50. He's on 20 bucks. Bro, podcast is going on two hours now. That's why I told you I wanted to keep it under an hour. We start talking about Madden, shit gets crazy, bro. No, but you know what? Seriously, as I close up this show, maybe I am too good at man to have a valid opinion about it. Does that make sense? Maybe I need to be a bot. But we have talked about this many times on the show. I don't really have an opinion of Call of Duty. I'm not walking around telling people what's good and bad about Call of Duty. Because I feel like I'm not good enough at the game. I don't know enough about it. You know what I'm saying? We have had this We have had this discussion. You know? I feel like the best players, you know, the experts, should be the ones that kind of decide and, and try to tell you whether the game is good or not. You know? But, like, at the end of the day, like... Maybe the casual, you know, I hate Madden opinion matters more. You know? Skiba, that's my goal. Yo, when I'm brought up in all these little bot videos, yo, you don't understand, my dick gets hard, dude. When they bring me up and say, Dubby promotes gambling, my, I'm just I'm just full sending right here in my pants. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. All the time, man. All the time. Full send. Every time they bring me up now. I used to hate it. I used to be like, oh, people are going to hate me. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't talk about me. But nope, not no more. Please bring me up. Please bring me up. Because that means I got your attention. You hear me? Because I told you guys. Because this is where the arrow's pointing, bro. This is where we're going, boys. This is where we're going. And the little bots and the little haters, you know, the people that have no talent and no fucking IQ, they want to jump on the bandwagon, right? They want to find some way to cling on, but this bitch is going this way. And they got to jump on somewhere, because if they don't have something to jump on, <laughs> where they're going? You hear me? You hear me? But anyway, I really do feel like maybe the bot's opinion is more valid. But listen, I understand gaming... Gaming, I understand gaming a little bit, bro. And for me, it's like, like, I suck at every game but Madden, right? And the things, and hear me on this, the things that would make me better at the game would ultimately make the game worse, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, okay... Like, okay, for instance, I don't know if you guys watch Apex. Apex is like, for me, it's like the best shooter. That shit's tough. But they made this update, right? And they kind of lowered everybody's armor, right? Essentially, in a shooting game, the quicker it is to kill somebody, the less a skill gap it is. Like Call of Duty, right? Call say, Think like this. Call of Duty head-to-head -head domination, right? I can kill anybody because I can just shoot them in the back when they're not looking. They have no chance of turning on me. It's the easiest thing in the world. The more armor a person has, kind of like Halo. Halo was tough as hell to kill people. You had to shoot them in the head. Halo had a huge skill gap, I'll be honest. Same thing with Gears of War. That's how Gears of War was. Gears of War 1, bro, you had to you had to shoot somebody, bro. And uh so essentially the lower the lower that is, the easier it is for me to kill people. You know, and that's not necessarily good for the game, but hey, it's good for Dubbot to go out there and be able to get some kills and have some fun, you know? Oh. Goins, I'll be honest. If I played offline games at all in 2020, I would be bored as hell too. Listen, if you're playing offline games in 2020, that's your own damn fault. You know what they make for offline games? Red Dead Redemption. Yo, that shit was awesome to play by myself. But it lasted me about three hours and I said, you know what? This is not it for me. My mind just is, is I cannot, it's just not it. It's not it. Seriously. If you're playing sports games offline against the computer, it's 2020. Like, bro. What? Yo.
Yes, God of War. Gee, that's a great point. God of War. I was the man smacking the shit out of the square button on, on PlayStation. Doing spins and shit. Oh, I was the man. I thought I was, I was, I was Kratos himself. I was the best Kratos ever. Could nobody touch me in God of War and God of War 2. Telling you, I was a I was the man. <laughs> Often people. I had all the special moves, I swear to God. If I could stream back then, I'd be the best God of War streamer. I was getting hype. Oh, like, let's go, man. Fuck out of here. All these bats. You had to kill the bats. I was the man, dude. Seriously. No, but for real, man. Maybe I'm not the best person. Maybe I'm not the best person to talk about Madden. Right? Maybe I'm not. I'm just too good at it. I'm just too good at it, bro. But then, like, who do you listen to? Like, would you listen to a porn star about sex? Right? You're not gonna listen. You're not gonna listen to Sam about sex. You're not gonna listen to your Uber driver about sex, right? You're gonna ask a porn star. What's my best move I should pull out? Right? Just saying. I'm just. I'm just being real. Just too good at man. I'm just too good at man to really have an opinion about it. The Uber driver, Uber driver, I'm serious. Bro, man. That's all I'm saying. You feel me, Gusky? Like, bro, I can't. You know, like, bro, like. Bro, playing against the computer is just sick. You're a psycho, dude. You're a psycho. Bro, back on the PS1, though, I was a computer god. We talked about this. I was a computer god. Hmm. Peyton, let me tell you something, bro. I'm a gamer, all right? I suck at every other video game. That, there we go. McGunsky in here, right? I am the biggest bot in the world at MLB. I am the bot of MLB. A 500 player, about 40 games over 500. Let's be respectful, right? Right? I was a bot. Agreed by all you guys. I never once made a tweet about what why the game sucks or the game should fix this or the game should fix that never once maybe maybe what i have is what other people do. i have bot recognition do you guys have bot recognition when you're a bot i recognize it right and i respect that there's people that know better than me you know what i'm saying and i feel like that's an important part of life like i'm a bot I have good bot, bot recognition. Tell me something you're a bot at, chat. Yeah. And I never once said the game sucks, the game that, oh, the pitching is bad, the fielding is bad, blah, 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 they should patch this. I didn't, I'm a bot. Yeah. Bot recognition is an important part of life. Seriously. Because if, if if you don't have bot recognition, you're going to be out here trying to tell people what they can and can't do, man. And you're a bot. You know? Yeah, Skimbo's a bot at fall, guys. He's a bot. And and in all... Listen. All right. So let's take fall guys, for example. Right? You're a bot at fall, guys. You hate the seesaw level, right? Now, naturally, this is, there's people without bot. bot. Yo, the bot ignorance. That's the problem with people. There's bot recognition and there's bot ignorance, right? Bot recognition, you say, damn, I got to get better at the seesaw level. Bot ignorance, the seesaw level sucks. Take it out of the game. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Here we go to Madden. Bot, bot recognition Damn, I got to get better at Madden, man. I got to find a better way to beat these guys, man. How do I stop this? How do I stop that? Bot ignorance, the game sucks. They don't fix it. They don't change it. Update franchise mode has been out two hours and it already sucks. 
Bot ignorance, bot recognition. Which one are you? Seriously. Being honest. Bot ignorance, bot recognition. Just being real, man. I, I hate the seesaw level. When them cocksuckers lift the one seesaw all the way up and you can't get up because the shit tits and you sitting there waiting like a dumbass, like seesaw come down. I hate, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I got to realize that I have to be a better bot and I have to be better with my timing so I don't wind up waiting for the seesaw. You know what I'm saying? Just being honest. But bots run the world. And that's that's kind of where, uh, and, and that's, that's recognition that we're going to have. Bot really, bots really run the world. They do. If To be successful, you have to please the bots. Seriously. Self-awareness, kid. And I call it self-scouting, bro. Self-scouting. Bro, me and Skimble talk about self-scouting all the time, bro. That's why, that's why we'll always be friends because, bro, we don't really blame nobody else. Like, when Skimbo play Clash of Clans and he get popped, he blame himself. You know, we've, we've had other people in the clan. They try to come in the clan and they make excuses about why their archers weren't shooting at the right people or why their spells didn't hit the right castle and shit like that. You know, when Skimbo's little attack doesn't work, he said, I could have did better. Blase Block could have did this. I could have did that. Aware. Uh, just, just being aware. That's all. Casuals ruin everything. I'm telling you, they do. Because, because the casual... For... for the, the producer, the casual is the most important person, right? For for the producer, the casual is the most important person. Because if you can attract the casual, that's how I am right now with, with YouTube, right? Like, I, I have the ears of all... Like, there there's not a competitive man player in the world that doesn't know who I am, right? I, that's how I feel. But I need to get... But at that... It, it, to stay within the competitive side... I'm going to be this level forever, right? I have to I have to attract the casuals. The casuals make a Madden career beyond sustainable. Now, a Madden career is sustainable if you're just with the competitive guys. It's sustainable. It's not monstrous, but it's sustainable. But I need to reach the casuals. So at the time, like EA's a producer for the casuals, I'm a producer for the casuals the same way. How can I reach those guys? You know, maybe I need to make a drop EA, drop EA NFL hashtag to reach the casuals. I'm not opening packs. That shit is dry, bro. I might have to, though. Who knows? Keep shitting on the bots. No, see, Otter, that's where that's where you're wrong. Because you think bots know their bots. We just talked about this. Bot ignorance, bot, bot uh, recognition. A lot of these guys in this chat right now are bot ignorant. Y'all think y'all good. And that's cool. Because at the end of the day, you have to have a little bit of that confidence right here. You have to have a little bit. But it's a lot of bots in this chat right now. There's probably about six, 700 of them that aren't subbed. <laughs> First sign of being a bot. Really? First sign of being a bot. Not subbed to me. First sign. I'm I'm a bot in a lot of things. I'm I'm be honest. There's two things I do really really good: draw and play Madden, and talk shit about on the podcast. There, that's three things. Now, I'll be honest. I do a lot of things good. I'm good at a lot of things, but really, like elite drawing and Madden. That's about it. And talking shit. Talking shit is I'm, I'm that's my most elite my most elite tactic. My most elite tactic. Fixed franchise mode. Should I do a fixed franchise mode? You know what's crazy? I played franchise mode a lot last year. I loved it. I loved it. Not once did I say, damn, I wish they had this. The only thing I wish they had was like physical training, like pocket passing, move from the tennis balls, and get more training points. If I, if I killed it, I'd get more training points. Everybody has to be a bot, bro. All right, we got weird now. Somebody asking about ladders. Somebody said whisper in my ear. Yeah, all right. No, Lobs, that's actually pretty good, bro. Five to one win-loss ratio is pretty good on Mutt, bro. 
Don't no, don't ever compare yourself to these sweats like Wesley and them that fucking just sweat out every single game and say, oh, look at me, I'm I am 110 and four. Yay. Don't compare yourself to them dudes. Dude didn't go to sleep. Sweat out every game, bro. Never let their nuts hang. Bro, Big Strap is done. That's done, Swizzy. I don't think I'm ever going to play in a CFM again. I don't want to rely on anybody else for my content and my gameplay, honestly. But anyway, I got to wrap this up, bro. We are about two hours, for real, for real. This is way too much. People don't watch two-hour podcasts. Shit, people don't watch our podcast. Shit, people don't want half-hour podcasts. But, so, if you're still watching this at this point, well, you must have been entertained. So, I appreciate you guys. So, please hit the sub button. And if you want to, you can leave your cash up below because I still have a lot of Thrones money I have to spend to people. So, if you're into YouTube, leave your cash app or your PayPal below and I will definitely hit you guys with a couple blessings if you've, if you've made it two hours into this podcast. But this was the Needed Podcast episode 96.